What's up, everybody? I haven't been able to film all week because the weather has been absolutely terrible out here at the airport. It's been raining nonstop, so I haven't gotten any work done. However, it's now a new week. It is Monday, and I'm going to continue on trying to get these Quasar wingtips installed. So stick around, and I'll get into it. So the first thing I got to do for these is there's obviously a lot more wires for that LED landing and taxi light. So I have to run those wires to the wing, but there's no access panels between the wing tip and the strut attached. So I've got a piece of tubing here. I'm gonna run the wires through this. And I'm gonna use this to feed the wires through the wing. Now I'll pull that back out. So I'm gonna put this one up in the root, from the root, and then push it the rest of the way through. Two more wires and I can start connecting everything. I don't think I'm gonna bring my Miata to the airport anymore because every time I do, it rains like hell. And since the airplane's on the ramp, I can't really do anything today. So I'm gonna call it, I'll probably catch y'all tomorrow. Day two. Okay, a little update since yesterday's rain. I got the final wire installed. That was for the strobe lights. Sorry, I know it's really bright. Um, I've got everything run through the wings and now I'm going to make a little auxiliary panel right here to hold all the switches for all of this. And then we'll get them wired up and then I'll probably fit the tips, or I'm trying to fit the tips this afternoon after lunch because as you can see, it's very, very bright and the sun is still coming in the hangar in the afternoon after lunch the shade will be on that side of the hanger so i'd like to do all that in the shade and not in the sun getting a sunburn so i just about got that bracket made but i have a better tool at the house for that i have some nibblers so i'm gonna use the nibblers to finish that so in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and get these led lights installed i gotta drill a hole line everything up bolt it in place but this is there you go that's what they look like assembled you put this back plate on here it gets bolted on here, here, and here. And then this piece, this guy right here, actually screws into the plate with this hole and these two holes. 
and then the lens cover goes over the top like that and you put this piece on right here so i'm gonna go ahead and get these installed on both the wingtips i'm just gonna put the plates on for now uh and then once i have the plates on here i'll go ahead and i'll put the wingtips on the aircraft i am waiting i am waiting strategically for the sun uh because right now the shade is right there and i would like it to be a little further out so that i am not sweating when i put the wingtips on but i'll get back with you when i get these lights on well that is literally the third time in a row i have brought the miata to work on the airplane and it is raining so the only solution now is no more miata when i work on the plane. all right i'm gonna go ahead and get these on it's not terribly exciting i just gotta put them in place tape the line make sure they fit right and then find all the holes drill all the holes bolt them on and then after that it's just a matter of connecting all the wires for everything so i'll probably just show you that when it's finished well there you go i got one wing tip completely on in and bolted on all fitted all wired i still have to wire the main switches on the inside and some other things but i'm probably going to go ahead and see y'all out here and make that a video for next sunday so if you enjoyed it like comment subscribe stick around for the next one once i get these fully installed i'm going to light the whole thing up at night strobes on navs on all the lights on so that should be pretty cool so i'll see you on the next one be easy